Hello, welcome everyone, welcome Team Dotes. Um, we're gonna have some fun with our self defense Woo! this session. This session, we're going to, if someone comes and tries to do like a haymaker or over the head, kind of like a big hit to your head or temple, this is more of like a in the streets that someone who's not as knowledgeable in martial arts, they'll, that's probably their go to as far as here and just swing. Okay, so that's where we even defend as far as. That's happening. You're gonna need a partner in crime. <laughs> so fine. Could be your spouse, could be your brother or sister, could be your friend. If it's a brother and sister, make sure you ask mom and dad permission first. Cause there's gonna be some like grappling. So we make sure you're both safe in a safe environment and a safe space. But so the whole point of this this whole drill, Natasha's gonna to try to um hey make me in the head. I'm gonna go and do like a wing block. When I do my wing block, I don't wanna be out like a like the sprinkler dance. I'm gonna make sure Don't fly. <laughs> keep it tight. And if you're even a little loose and you get hit, you're gonna hit yourself. So don't do that. Keep it tight as you can. Let your shoulder and your arm take the hit. So once again, I boom. From here, I take the arm. I I'm here and I'm gonna wrap around Natasha's arms. Now she can't get it out and it's stuck. He's, if it's he's securing the biggest threat to him right now. If it's a little bit loose like this, Natasha can pull out and then punch me again. And then ah, uh, I can't. So don't do that. Make sure you when you block, you wrap and you hold it tight that you can't get out. From here, I need to secure, I'm gonna grab the neck. So I'm gonna shoot my hand through, grab the neck. This prevents me from hitting him in the face with my other hand. From here, I'm gonna pull forward, whack, step around, and then boom, Throw drop. Me down on the grass. <laughs> down on the grass. You would do that faster, I just did a little bit slower. <laughs> uh, but in, in the action self defense, when you pull, you're gonna step around and twist and drop fast and then get back, get away. Strange danger, I don't like you, you know my friend. <laughs> in that situation. Make sure that you have the reflex of when you get that person down that you take off. Because you don't want to be like, because they're going to come after you again. Yes. Um, if you do this at home, make sure, like we're doing it on our mats here. Do not do it on concrete, please don't. If the person who's falling, especially if you don't fall correctly, it's going to hurt. If you fall correctly, it still can scrape you up a little bit. Not in a self-defense situation, I'd rather get a little scrape then um, get even worse. But if you're practicing at home to understand the mechanics of it, please find like a nice rug, or not nice rug, but a soft rug, uh, something that's not concrete or hard wood, because that's gonna hurt right. severely. Absolutely. Right. Awesome, thank you, ma'am. Yes, awesome. So now let's work on some of the build up process so we can get there. Okay, so when you do the wing blocks, keep your hands tight in, okay? Keep your hands in, and you're gonna shoot straight up. Almost like you're doing the elbow strike, like vertical elbow strike, up. Uh, you're, but you're gonna go, I like to almost grab my neck. So keep myself super tight. Okay, go up and grab, boom. And then as I do it, I'm also a little, I'm twisting my hips a little bit, boom. Okay, to give that more of a power shot too. And then bam, boom. Then it actually allows me to untwist and grab easier as well. Okay, so now let's upgrade that. What you're gonna do is twist, protect your head, because that's the most important part. From here, take your hand, wrap, and then go palm your strike. Okay, let's try again. Let's take this hand now. Wrap around the arm, take this hand, drive a palm of strike. Okay, where Amy's going high, like towards the nose, because our progression is grab the neck. So aim high. So let's do the left hand now. Wing block, you're gonna grab, lock it tight, drive. One more time on the right side. Wing block, grab, drive. Boom. From here, Lewis, now we're gonna set a palm meal. You're gonna shoot up like the chest up here, and you're gonna grab the neck. So, wing block, wrap around tight. From here, you're gonna shoot in and almost like grab the hand, like you're almost in, uh, like holding the neck for that knee strike, okay? Make sure it's super strong, super tight, okay? When you're here, boom, bam, you grab, then you're gonna pull them forward. After you pull them forward, the thought process take their back leg, almost step through. As you step through, then they're gonna be off balance, that you could take your back leg, step in front of them, and you can twist them through on the ground. Okay, so one time, let's walk through that. I'm here, I'm gonna wing block, wrap, shoot, grab the neck, I yank him back a little bit, so they take a step forward, they're a little more off balance, take my back leg, step behind their leg, and push with their arm, and push their neck over, Toss on the ground and then scoot back, just like we said at the beginning of the video, to make space, make distance. So after you're on the ground, just get out. Don't try to make come back and do something. <laughs> Your goal is just get away from there. That is an awesome job. That's your self defense. To practice that drop, if you have a bow staff or a pool noodle, probably do not pool noodle because it's very 
week, you can use a broom, a dust mop, push something, that's straight, just practice. You can grab with two hands, you can have one if you want, take your leg through and push the object over, okay? If it's like a bow sap, please don't break it. <laughs> uh, make sure you go nice and light, just nice and easy to understand the how to do it correctly. But off job, we're gonna have a lot of fun practicing class. <laughs>